Hi everyone, Professor Monty here again. Let's talk about arithmetic and geometric sequences. So if I've got a sequence of numbers, it just means a list of numbers. Say I've got something, for instance, like this. 2, 6, 10, 14, 18. Maybe it goes on forever. Maybe it just stops. It doesn't matter. Now, if I look at something like this, I'm looking for a pattern. Well, you may notice, oh, there is a pattern here. I add four to each number to get the next number. So to get from two to six, you would add four. Six to 10, you would add four, et cetera. We could even say based on that pattern, I would expect the next one I'd add four, I'd get a 22. And you'd be correct, obviously. If there's a common number we're adding, this is called an arithmetic sequence. Now, the four, the number that we're adding in this case, it's actually called the common difference. So the common difference, D, is equal to four in this case. And it's a difference because if I take any two consecutive numbers and I subtract them or find their difference, six minus two is four. 10 minus six is four. 14 minus 10 is four. And so that's why it's called the common difference. But that's what makes it an arithmetic sequence is it's got a common difference or we add the same number to get the next number in the sequence. Okay, that's arithmetic. What's geometric? With geometric, what you actually do is you multiply by some common number. So for example, say I start with the number five and then I do 10 and then I do 20, 40, etc. We may look at this and say, well, if I add five, I get 10, but if I add five again, I get 15, not 20, so it can't be an arithmetic sequence. But obviously, we may look at this and say, oh, I see the pattern. We multiply by two. So this is times two, times two, times two. The next number, of course, would be 80 because we multiply by two again. Well, this time, the two is called a common ratio. So this is a geometric sequence. The common ratio in this case, r is equal to two. And it's called a ratio because similar to what we did with an arithmetic sequence where we would subtract two numbers, we would divide. So we would say, for instance, oh, 10 divided by five is two. 20 divided by 10 is two. Put that a little bit upside. 40 divided by 20 is two. And so we see, oh, we've got a common ratio that's geometric. So remember, that's all there is to an arithmetic sequence. You add the same number each time. The number you're adding is called the common The one we add is called the common difference. And then if we multiply it, we've got a geometric sequence. The common number we multiply it is called the common ratio. Okay, hope that helps. I've got a whole bunch of videos based on arithmetic and geometric sequences. You may want to look at them. They're in my Math for Liberal Arts grouping of problems, grouping of videos. You may want to look at that. I will put a link to it here in the video. All right, have a good one. Remember, you can do this.